everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to make shoot the target game on scratch. At the end of this video, you are going to be able to make a game just like this one. Let's get started. So the first step of making this game is making the body, this, and the shooter. So if you want to think about the background, uh, I already make my own background. You can choose any background you want. So go to the body sprite. For the body sprite, it's just two blocks. It's easy. Uh, when green flag is clicked, block it will go to X on negative 180 and Y30. Now go to the shooter. For the shooter, when green flag is clicked, it will point in direction 90. It will also go to back layer. And then it will go to X uh, negative 175 and Y25. After that, go to controls and add a forever block. Will always point towards mouse pointer okay let's test it click on the green flag as you can see uh, the body when green flag is clicked is going to appear here and the shooter uh, when green flag is clicked is going to go to the back layer and the position it, it can also point in direction uh, mouse pointer so it will always point towards the mouse pointer okay that is all how you make the body and the shooter on to the next step The next step is making the target and the bullet. So go to the target sprite and add a when green flag is clicked block. After that, add a go to block. It will go to X, negative 160 and Y, 112. It will also hide, okay? After that, it will broadcast create target. And then when I receive create target, it will go to controls and add a weight block. So it will wait 0.1 second. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, add a create this clone block over here. Now. Uh, when I start as a clone, give me a second. When I start as a clone, it will go to. Now the position is going to be random, so I will pick random block. The X is going to be pick random from negative 35 to 90. The Y is going to be pick random from negative 50 to 140 like that after that go to looks and add a show block why do we need the show block because the original sprite is going to be hide and the clone is going to be shown because we want the clone to do the to do the acting uh, the original sprite is just going to hide okay after that go to the bullet sprite and add a when green flag is clicked block when green flag is clicked, it will go to the body sprite. It will also go to back layer. Go to back layer. And then add a forever block. So, uh, it will always go to the body, okay? And then, if space is pressed it will go to events and broadcast a new message what is what is it it's called shoot and then add a wait block just wait one second give it a little break now when I receive shoot 
it will create clone of myself. And then, when I start as a clone, it will go to body, go to the body sprite, and then it will start some laser. Uh, it will also go to the back layer, go to back layer, and then add a forever block. Now, before we continue making what's inside the forever block, go to motions and don't forget to add a point towards mouse pointer block, okay? Now, forever, it will uh, repeat until, wait, I mean not a forever block, I mean a repeat until block, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. It will repeat until uh, it's touching, just add a four block first in here until touching oops I'm going to put it back repeat until touching edge or touching or touching color or touch color green so, uh, it will repeat until it's touching the edge of the screen or it's touching the ground. If it's touching the ground, it will delay this clone, okay? Uh, so, it will move 10 steps, okay? The speed is going to be 10 steps. Now, go to controls and add an if then block. Put it inside here. So, if it's touching the target, it will. Add a weight block. It will wait 0 0.05 seconds, and then it will delete this clone. Don't forget to add another delete this clone block over here, okay? And then go back to the target sprite, and then add a forever block. Forever, if touching bullet then it will start sound pop and then it will broadcast create target again and then it will delete this clone delete this clone okay like that let's test it first now, as you can see, the target is over here. Last click space. And when I click space, the bullet will launch. It will point in the direction the mouse pointer. If it's touching the bullet, it will delay this clone too. And if it's touching the ground, it will delay this clone. Now, this game seems boring without a scoring system. So let's make the scoring system, okay? Okay, now go to the bullet. And make a new variable. The variable is score. Now, when green flag is clicked, it, it will set score to zero. If it's touching the target, it will change score by one. But if it's touching the edge or the color green, the ground, it will change score by negative one, which uh, will decrease the score. If it's touching the target, it will increase the score. Okay, let's give it a test. As you can see, if it's touching the target, it will increase the score by 1. If it's not touching the target, or, or touching the ground, or touching the edge, it will change score by negative 1. Anyway guys, that is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helps you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!